A Phoenix area man is planning a Draw Muhammad contest and protest on the outskirts of a mosque. That mosque being the mosque where the, uh, it's the Islamic Community Center of Phoenix, the same one where the Garland, Texas shooter attended. Uh, yeah, so he's planning that event. It's going to happen uh, tomorrow. Ritzheimer, the man, said he hopes to push out the truth about Islam. It's not that some people are out perverting this religion. It's these guys are following their book as it's written. And he told the station that he doesn't condone any threats being made to the mosque during the freedom of speech rally round two. So this is the mosque where the Garland shooter attended. He wants to have a protest right on the outskirts of it where they, they draw Muhammad and all of that. He doesn't want any threats. And to make that clear, he posted this on Facebook. Round two, this will be a peaceful protest in front of the Islamic Community Center in Phoenix, AZ. Now, the middle I'm not too concerned with. But he says at the end, people are also encouraged to utilize their Second Amendment right at this event, just in case our First Amendment comes under the much-anticipated attack. <laughs> so he's saying, I don't want any threats. I just want to surround this mosque with a bunch of gun-toting militia members in case the much-anticipated attack, which you anticipate but don't actually fear at all. In fact, you're going to put as many people as possible on the outskirts of it armed with guns. He... Um He's got a, uh, he's, he was wearing the, I uh, saw in the picture, the, the, the F Islam t-shirt, right? Oh, I did, I did not see that picture. Because he him. defends the t-shirt also. Uh, I love the sort of Rush Limbaugh musings. I'm a re Marine and I'm far from politically correct. I'm yeah. outspoken and I've just had it. Like, you know, like, like somehow will you say something abhorrent, do something abhorrent. Uh, and then you're like, you suggest that you're just being honest and outspoken, and that if people are aghast at your behavior, mm -hmm. it's further proof that you're taking a, a principled stand. Yeah, you know, um, which is what uh, uh, Reza Islam, Reza, 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 Reza excuse me, uh, uh, he pointed out, uh, I think correctly, this this analogy doesn't always work, but if the armed bikers, which is who this group is, if these armed bikers were going to protest outside a synagogue because they wanted to stand with uh, Palestinians in Gaza. I don't think we'd feel the same yeah. way about armed bikers so, showing up outside of So Senegal. that is, so there is the problem with a situation like that because there's, a, when I read a story like this, there's a part of me that was like, yeah, let's go draw cartoons outside of a mosque, right? There's a part mm -hmm. of me that wants to do that. <laughs> um, but at the same time, the problem is, I wish it wasn't the minority religion in America that is always constantly being Kind of persecuted in America anyway, right? Mm. So Again, that's the, the problem. So I don't want to. You don't want to bash somebody who. You don't want to kick people who are powerless in yeah, America. It's, it's your same thing. You don't want. It's not funny because they're powerless. Yes. yes. Right. That's, but and also, but at the same time, you have to stand up against groupthink and religion, and you can't let somebody tell you what you can and cannot draw. Yes. Because if they tell you it's the Prophet Muhammad today, then tomorrow a Catholic tells you it's a picture of Virgin Mary, and then somebody and you know it can, it can go yeah. on forever. So you can't, religion should be kept inside, and the moment it comes out of your mouth, it's supposed to be ridiculed by comedians. It's our yes. job. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to ridicule groupthink, and you're supposed to stick your finger in the eye of authority and all that stuff. Mm. The only problem is Muslims are the minority here, and they're already persecuted like we saw when they wouldn't let them build a mosque near Ground Zero. Yeah. Okay, so, so, but you don't, but the difference is you can draw uh, uh, cartoons of Muhammad. Uh, and you can continue to give it in the eye yeah. to Islam the same way you give it in the eye to right. all the other mainstream religions. You can't hold a menacing rally outside people's place of worship. Like, and there's a very clear difference in those yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would argue, like, he should be 100% legally allowed to do this. I would love if the mosque responds with absolutely no response whatsoever because it doesn't actually fucking affect you at the end of the day. They're just drawing something. He should be totally allowed to do that. But for those of you watching the video and supporting him, like, okay, maybe you genuinely care about the First Amendment and freedom of speech. I would argue that this man surrounding the mosque with bikers who are armed, I don't think that the First Amendment is his principal concern. I think that getting the chance to shoot some Muslims is probably a little bit higher on his list of priorities than any of the amendments. This is a jackbag move. If you're with these people, you're on the wrong side. That's all there is to it. It's very clear. This is a, the kind of people who do this yeah, are they, the kind of guys who are looking for a fight. You yeah. want to you wanna criticize Islam and the, the violent wing of Islam in particular that is posing a threat to the United States and posing a threat overwhelmingly 
to Muslims, yes, overwhelmingly to Muslims mm -hmm. uh, in the Middle East, then go ahead. That's different. But, you know, these guys are just people going to pray. When you hold an anti-Muslim rally outside a synagogue, you are the Westboro Baptist Church. You, yeah. are on, you are doing what these people do. You are just inciting, uh, you're inciting, and in this case, you're inciting at some risk to bodily harm to people. Yeah. Because we don't know how any of these guys are going to respond. I mean, if these, you know, if, if this, uh, the shooter in, in, in Texas was from this mosque, then maybe there are a couple of guys like him in the mosque, and Lord knows there are a couple of guys there who are going to attend this rally who are also uh, eager, eager for a fight. Yeah. So people will make the point that, see, Islam's worse than Christianity. See, that, that's, that's what this is all about, that mm. their, uh, their religion is more violent than our religion, yeah. even though we've been bombing Iraq since for four straight presidencies, and I don't think Iraq has bombed us once yet, yeah. right? <laughs> so we've been mu co occupying two Muslim countries since the early 2000s, and I don't think one Muslim country has even occupied Wisconsin yet. So... <laughs> So it's it's when you only see terrorism or, you know, that the religious violence and you don't think the violence of the United States, even though it's perpetrated by a guy named George Bush, who said he got his walking orders from the Heavenly Father when he invaded Iraq. You don't. Oh, that's not that's not religious violence. Yeah. And that's we can dismiss that violence because that's done with planes and and nice weapons that are made in factories as opposed to terrorism, which we're afraid of. I've said it before. Terrorism is the violence of the weak and we condemn it. War is the violence of the strong, and we glorify it. Uh, I just hope that the same tactics taken by the police and those in charge here <laughs> that relegates uh, protesters at the Republican and Democratic conventions to a tiny little area, free hundreds and zone. hundreds of yards away in a free speech zone, because here, in this case, there's a real reason for it. Yeah. Like, I got it. Now let's move these guys 400 yards away, keep them in a free speech zone, Keep them away from that mosque. Keep them away from the people in the mosque. Keep the people in the mosque away from them because the most important thing is get through that day without anybody shooting anybody.